Hello, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I want to take you through the optimal lag selection for ARDM model in starter. And we say that when we are performing the time series analysis using ARDM model, the first step is to check the stationarity and the step that follows is to determine or to select the optimal lag for the model. And that is what I want to explain to you how you perform it in starter and also how to interpret the results. So I have my data already imported into starter and this is this is the data that I am using and the variables that I am interested in is the log of domestic debt, the log of external debt and the log of private investment. So those are the variables that I am going to use in this tutorial. And we say that when we are working with time series, the first thing that we do is to, to set our time variable and we use the command t set, then the variable name for the time, which in our case is years, and our data is yearly data, then enter. So we have already set the time variable, which is running from 2001 to 2020. Now, in Determining the optimal lag for ARDM model, we use the command var soc and then the variables that we are interested in. Here we have log of private investment, the log of domestic debt and the log of external debt, then enter. Now these are the results for our optimal lag selection and we have the maximum lag here is 4 and the lag 4 has been selected in all of the criteria and we say that we select the lag that has or that has been selected in most of the criteria and also we say that the criterion that we select is the one that has the least value or whose value is the least and in our case here we see that the, the value for LR is 91.931, the FPE is 1.9, the AIC is negative 13.478, and the value for HQIC is negative 13.38, and the value for SBIC is negative 11.595. So in this case you see that the the criterion that has the least value is AIC since negative 13.478 is the least among all these values therefore we are going to select the criterion AIC and the optimal lag will be 4 so that is how you determine or select the optimal lag for your ARDR model and that is what I was taking you through in this video. So the next video I am going to show how you perform the Johansson co-integration test in starter and also how you interpret the results. Thank you and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and also 
hit the notification bell so that you are able to get more of such content. Thank you and bye for today.